This entire world is made up of five elements. And these five elements have got three qualities. These three qualities are called Sattva, Rajas and Tama. These are the names. At any given time, one of these qualities dominate our life, our environment. Now, there is a broad understanding about what is Sattva, what is Rajas and what is Tama. When Sattva is dominating in our environment and the body, that is when we feel light, feel happy, pleasant, joyful, alert, awake. Perception is very clear. And when Rajogun is dominating, lots of thoughts, restlessness, too many desires, too many things to be done. Either you're very, very happy, excited, happiness or Sadness. This is Rajogun. When Tamogun dominates, delusion, wrong understanding, dullness. So when Sattva dominates in our life, then Rajas and Tamas they stay in the background. Their effect is minimum. And when Rajas dominate, Sattva and Tamas are in the background. And when Tamas dominate, then Sattva and Rajas are in the background. This is the whole mechanism of life and world, the life in the world. Now, animals are governed by this nature, so there is no imbalance in them. They never overdo anything. They never overwork. There is no overtime for them. No overeating for them. No overindulgence in sex for them. They don't do anything. They cannot because there is no freedom for them. So also wisdom. Discrimination. How much to do, what to do, when to do, whether to do or not. This discriminating power is given to human being because human beings possess freedom. We can overeat and get sick, can oversleep and feel dull, and overindulge in activities and get restlessness, the nervous breakdown, ulcers. And these three qualities are present in, even in our food. Our food can be large, sneak, sat, weak, or tam, three type of food, huh? right amount of food, fresh food, sweet, fresh and gentle, gently spice, not too much. This is sattvic food. This, people with sattvic tendencies would like that. When there is rajasic tendency in you, you like everything very strong. Vinegar, strong, pickles, anything very strong, very salty, too sweet, very hot and very... And then, the tamasic people like everything old and stale. Anything that is very old, ancient foods are tamasic. It is not fresh. Those who, which should not be eaten, which is harm for, harmful for health, this is tamasic people like. Actually, according to the Ayurvedic, anything that is overcooked or which is older than six, seven hours, is considered to be old. So these are Tam Chikpat. The three type of intellect is also there. Our mind can be Rajasik, Tam Chik, Satvik. Our um, attitude and action can be Satvik, Rajasik, Tam Chik. people, their enthusiasm is based on the result and they either go up very high or go down very much. And they put with too much effort too much thinking for small thing. And everything they do with excitement, lot of excitement in both sense, up or low. This is Rajasik tendency. The Satvik intellect is it just does the job joyfully and is unmindful of the result. The things happen or not happen. Either way, 
they don't lose their enthusiasm their enthusiasm is not based on result of a job and calm sick people they take too long time to do a small thing and regretting all the while they are doing disliking all the time they are doing oh i shouldn't be doing this i shouldn't be doing this say that and keep doing completely disgusted yet living this is calm sick intellect calm sick doing knowledge also there are three types when you see there is only one sense one being one consciousness in all the being this is sattvic knowledge rajasic knowledge is attributing different things to different people oh they are like that they are like that they are like that. see them all as different good or bad people this is rajasic knowledge tamasic knowledge is understanding them all in a wrong way completely wrong do people do not even see one as like that is tamasic you know people who commit crimes or who are violent they don't see life in the people whom they destroy always they cannot they cannot shoot somebody cannot kill anybody a butcher never thinks the sheep or goat or chicken which is butchering as having life if he looks in their eyes he will not be able to perform his job tam technology is unable to perceive things as they are wrong understanding everything taking it wrong so anything you say a person of tam sik nature will misinterpret it and take it wrongly twisting turning and seeing all the time the paranoia like everybody is going to attack me everybody is angry at me everyone hates me everyone dislikes me nobody likes me ever in the world it has been happening from my childhood my mother didn't like me my father didn't like me my teacher didn't like me my boyfriend didn't like me girlfriend didn't like me they stared at me as though i am a beast <laughs> all sorts of delusion deluded mind this is when tamogoni done all our practices is this time that you have taken off is all very meaningful this increases the level of sattva in this brings the basic transformation in your constitution hmm? constitution change sattva becomes more and more and when sattva becomes more then there is knowledge there is alertness there is awareness there is joy in life it comes along with sattva and sorrow misery comes with rajas and delusion and dullness comes with tam so when you see somebody regretting sad just know that all rajas is increased <laughs> when you look at everybody in terms of this sattva rajas tam the three guna not in balance in balance in balance in them then you feel compassion for them. rajas is increased in somebody they are so restless there are too many desires come up in them they want to do 100 things but never get accomplished even a single thing the rajoguna has increased sattva has increased so bright so love love and service compassion all these qualities have come up hmm? then you do not judge people and brand them as good or bad you simply see the qualities which are acting there is only one big mind that is responsible so only one big mind that is functioning that divine mind is all that is there in all the embodied being this understanding not just intellectually but as it is in an actual sense is sattvic knowledge in everybody's life these three cycles come sattva more tamas more rajas more like a spirit come and the change now how to balance these gunas in us this is through the practices when we do meditation and silence and retreats the purpose of all this is what to raise the sattva usually a person lives in either slumber or in deep sleep either one is dreaming in the sleep or dreaming when they are awake very rare once in a while or here and there in life one experiences a clear awareness a clarity of mind the rest of the time mind is all in jumbled soul in a mess 
So if we all the time think about the past, the future, and past, the future, and daydreaming, there is very little of awareness, awakening. So there is very little happiness, very little joy, very little sattva in life. Mm-hmm. Pranayam, kriya, meditation, listening to knowledge, all these increases sattva in life.